I'm here to how to show you how uh, to turn off the main water and as well what everything it is here. Uh, usually, typically, always the your main water is coming in from the bottom. Here we have a gate valve. We have another gate valve. This is your pressure reducing valve. This is your water meter. You've got another valve. And this is what I call a vacation valve. And typically, whenever you have a T coming across and coming up, this is typically always your uh, sprinkler. So we're a little redundant on how many valves there are. Um, typically, there's usually one before the pressure reducing valve in the meter. So typically one is a little redundant. And then usually you always have at least one after the, your, your meter. Um, if you could have a choice of this valve or this valve, I like this valve up here. I like the location because if you want to turn off your water during the summer, you still have water going up to your sprinkler system. That way you're not worried about your water being on uh, while you're gone. So this is a great valve to have. Um, so this one's just, there's your off and your on. And typically always these gate valves, these are always clockwise or as you know, righty tighty. And but you basically want to keep going until it's kind of snug. If you go too hard and crank on it, you're going to end up breaking these and you're going to end up calling us out. So again, turn it back on. I'm going to go counterclockwise and basically until it stops completely. Uh, and these, that's why I like a ball valve. I prefer. So, okay. Your meter, what does this do? That basically, so your, so the water district knows exactly how much, um, what your water bill is going to be and there's usually a typically a rod that goes up and kind of an antenna um, this guy here your pressure reducing valve um, so typically you have too much pressure coming in from the street um, anywhere from uh, 90 to 130 pounds of pressure so this is supposed to lower the amount of pressure incoming in your house um, over time they do wear out and they do disintegrate and kind of um, the spring and diaphragm is usually fighting back that pressure um, and this lowers it so usually um, anywhere from probably seven to fifteen years is probably life expectancy um, you know the ball valves should last for life and these gate valves kind of the more you use them sometimes the more they kind of wear down so that is that is all we have here for today and good enough for me. All right.